welcome to lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a German Shepherd on the Rainbow Loom. I have two different colors here. It's the same pattern. This one is with burgundy, Rainbow Loom burgundy, and this one is the tan and the camel pack for Rainbow Loom. I think they both came out super cute, and I wanted to give a big thank you to my Instagram followers for helping me out picking out the colors. And I also think another great color to use for this dog is in the camel pack, there's a darker tan that's in the um, pack, and this is the lighter shade and this is the darker. I think that will work really well. And I also have the skin tone brown that's in there, and it's a little bit lighter than the burgundy. In this tutorial, I'm going to use the skin tone pack brown. I think that will come out cute, but I really do also like this um, darker shade of tan. So we can get started. You're going to need black, and they also come in white and all black dogs. So in this tutorial, I'm going to make these two, but with the skin tone, brown, and we're going to have a little bit black on the back, some black in the snout, and then, of course, the little claws and the tail. So let's get started. These will all be double bands. Okay, so two bands per stitch. And I'm going to be using the uh, brown that's in the skin tone pack. You can use whatever color you want. If you want to make an all white one, that's beautiful, or all black, they'll all come out so nice. So we're going to do double. I'm going to place it from, and it's also a staggered position, arrow facing down. From this pin to this pin. Okay, then we're going to do another double from this pin to this pin, and then we're going to make another stitch in the middle. Pay close attention to where I'm placing the bands, because there's going to be, um, if you made my husky, I made the neck similar to this one, so you also need like stretchy bands for this one so they don't break. So we're placing here to here, and now here to here. And then we're going to place one right here. And now we're going to place a big stretch from this one to this one. This is going to be the forehead. Okay, then we're going to do another stretch on this side from here to here. Okay, so now we're going to do another double, and this is where I'm talking about the big stretch. We're going to place one right here, and it's going to stretch all the way down to this pin. This is the neck area, so big stretch right there. We're not touching this, it's just going to be one band going like this. Well, a double band. Now we're going to place another double on the other side. So from this pin, big stretch to the top. Now we're going to do the snout of the dog. And I choose black. You can use whatever color you want. Um, I am also this is going to be right here, so I'm going to make it the same, this band, the same color as my snout. So I'm going to use black for that. So I'm going to place that right there. And then we're going to make another big stretch of a double. And that's going to be from this pin to this pin. So it's going to look like a little diamond. Okay, and then we're going to do another stretch on the other side. Okay, so it's a big stretch here, 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 and here, and here. Okay, and that's all the, the head area. Now we're going to need a triple for the neck area, which is going to start on this pen. Okay, so here's the big stretch, and our triple is right here. Now we're going to go back to double, 
and I'm going to place it from here to here. Okay, then we'll need another double and we'll place it from here to here. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the middle of the body and I'm going to use black. You can use whatever color you'd like, but I really like how the black turned out. So I'm going to use doubles for this. And it's going to be four stitches long. So here's one. These are all doubles. Two. Three. And number four. I made one little mistake. I don't want four because I want him a little bit longer because he's a bigger breed. So I'm going to make him one more stitch of black. So sorry about that. So this is really five stitches. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to work on the side. And we're still at doubles. And we're going to start at this pin. And we're just working our way down. I think the outcome of this dog is really cute, and I think that you'll really like him. He's in the basic shape of German Shepherd, and you can use different colors and make a couple different um, varieties of the German Shepherd. So, going all the way down, these here's one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do another connecting band right here. Okay, and now we're going to work on this side. From this pin to this pin, and still working our way down. bit longer. And then we're connecting this pin to this pin. Okay, now we can work on the legs. I'm just pushing some of these bands down. And the front leg is going to be, it's a bigger dog, so I'm going to bend the bottom like my other dogs to make a little paw. So it's going to be a black band for the claws, and then one, two, three, four, five stitches for the front legs. So we're going to do that on the hook. You need a black band. I'm going to put this to the side. Black band, put it on the hook, wrap it around four times. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to take a double of my leg color. Place that on there, place it back on the hook. So that's one stitch. And then I'm just going to repeat it to get five. So use number two. Number three. Four. And five. Okay, we're going to place that actually right here. It's a little different than my other dogs. So we'll place it right here. Not here because this is usually where I place the leg, but this is a different um, style that I'm working with now for the pattern. So he looks really good with the leg right here on this pin. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Five. Everything's in fives with this one, which is awesome. The fifth pin down. Okay, so we're going to make another leg, just repeating the, like, the first leg. So I need a black. One, two, three, four. And then we'll do our five stitches. Just like that. There's one, two, three, 
three. Four. And finally, number five. Okay, and that will go right here. Same. One, two, three, four, five. I think five is this dog's lucky number. Put that there. And now we're going to do the hind legs. Hind legs are a little thicker on the top, but we're still doing. We're going to do four stitches and then we're going to connect it to two bands. So we'll do that. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to place this up here. I need another black. One, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to go four stitches. Same doubles. Separate that out. Here's number two, number three, and four. Okay, so I'm going to keep that on the hook. I'm going to take another double, and I'm going to place it on the loom. It could be in any pins. So just place one there, and then another double. Connecting this pin to this pin. Okay, so it looks like a V. Then we're going to place this on this pin. And now we're going to loom these. So I'll pull this back. I'm going to take this band first. And then we're going to go to the right. So now I'm going to take it off the loom. I'm going to push these down too. I'm going to take it off the loom. Keep it on the hook. And I'm going to place it on this pin and this pin. So we'll start from here. It's one, two, three, the fourth pin and the fifth pin from up here. Take your time with this. It's the process that's the fun too and the outcome. Okay, so we got one leg there. We're going to do repeat on this side. So, black band, one, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to do four stitches of double. So, one, two, three. And finally, four. Okay, then we're going to take a double, go on the loom, place it here, and then another one here. Then we're going to place it on that pin. And I'm going to start on this and loom the left side first. Then I'm going to loom this one. Put it on my hook. And I'm going to place it on this pin and this pin. Now we can work on the tail, and in this dog, I made the tail because he's a bigger dog. Some triple bands in it, and I think it really made him proportional and really nice. So I'm going to make him have a black tip. You don't have to have a black tip. You can make it any way you want. So we'll start with the black, and then we'll do triples. So we're going to do a single black, wrap it around the hook three times. One, two, three. Then a double. And place that on there. Now I'm going to be going into my triple bands. So we need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, just to make it a little thicker. You don't have to make it thicker if you don't want. You can do double. Okay, so there's one. Then two, another triple. And then I have three triples, so one, two, three. So here's my third triple. And now I'm going to go into a double. Okay, so that's your tail. So it's a black double, then three triples, and another double for the end. And we're going to place it right here. That's your capping band. Okay, so now we can work on the eyes and the snout. So I'm going to make a black snout, and it came out really cute, and we're going to place it right here. So I'm going to make a black nose. Remember, you can use any colors you'd like. One, two, three, four, four times around. Then I'm going to take triple band. And I want to show you, I used a double band for this snout, and it looks a little bit small to me. And this one actually used four bands. And he's a little bit bigger. So you got a little smaller and a little bit bigger. I think three bands would look really nice, depending on how, how big you want your snout to be. So I'm going to do three, because this guy might be a little bit too big, and this one definitely is too small. So let's do three for that. But the four bands would look nice, too. Okay, so let's do three. And the black rain balloon bands are a little bit thicker, so I think that would look nice. But definitely you can do four or three, depending on how thin or thick your bands are. So I'm going to do three. And then if you want, you can do four. Sorry, I'm repeating. <laughs> okay, so another one thing, I'm going to use a black band as the connecting band for the snout. If you're using a lighter shade, you have to... I used a black band for here so you can see a little bit of black right here. So if you don't want to use black and you could actually hide the black band too with the other bands, you can use the same skin, the same color as your dog. But I'm going to use black because it does mesh a little bit better with the snout. Because this is the connecting band that I'm going to put right now and you can see it. And then if you use the fur color, you can kind of see it a little bit in here, so I just want a continuous black, but it depends on what you want to do. So I'm just going to use um, black, and then we'll place that right here. It's a single. Place it right there, and then we're going to place it on this pin and this pin. So just like that. And then on the other side, and then we're going to bring it down. You're going to bring your snout down right on this pin. So you're connecting it here, here, and bringing it down here in between that black. Now we're going to work, do the eyes, and I'm just going to use bands. You can use e-beads if you'd like. So I'm going to wrap it around the hook four times, or you can make a little figure eight and then pull it over upon itself again. That's the same thing as wrapping four. Here's another figure eight. Wrap it around. And this one I'm going to use the same color as the fur. It's going to be a single. Place the eyes on there. Okay, so I got my two eyes, and I'm going to place it on this pin and this pin going across. Okay, separate the eyes, 
and now we're going to do the ears and then we'll do structural bands. Let's do the structural bands first. I'm going to use um, black. They're all singles. So single black, we're going to place it like a triangle at the bottom. Like a triangle right here. And then we're going to do another single black. And the reason why I'm picking black is because it meshes well with the middle section. Then another single black. Another single black. Okay, so I'm going to leave this like this. It's going to be one, two, three, four. And now we're going to work with the ears. And we're going to do a single of the same color, the fur color. Wrap it around the hook four times. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to take another single. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to make a triple. Okay, so that's three. And make sure they're all like the same length so you can dangle it because some of them are oblong. So just make sure they're all the same length. And then we're going to place these two bands on that triple. Okay, then we're going to bring that triple back. You can separate these two bands on each side like that. Then you're going to take a single, then twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, then place it back on there so you're holding it like that and we're going to place it right here this is your, going to be your first ear and just bring it up so it's straight now we'll go to the next ear and it's going to be single one two three and four then we're going to take another single one two three and four four times around. Then you're going to take a triple. Make sure they're all, you know, the same length and everything. Then you're going to bring that on the triple. Bring it back on the hook. Separate these guys. Take a single. Twist it upon itself. Place it on the hook, place that back like that, and you have your second here, and you're going to place it right here. Okay, so this is your layout, and I have a little space here too because I'm going to start sewing. When we take it off the loom, I'm going to sew this all together and bend the neck. So. I really don't want a structural band here because I'll leave, I think, too many bands inside the dog. So, but this is what he looks like right now. Make sure yours looks like this and we can start looming. Okay, so now we can start looming. And I'm going to pull that tail back. And my first band will be this one right here. Um, pay close attention to what I'm doing, and then um, if you have a problem, just rewind the video and watch it again, because um, I'm doing specific looming in this area to make him look like a German Shepherd. So I did this band to this band, right here to right here, and I'm going to loom the black all the way up. I'm just looming forward. And just stopping right there. And then I'm going to loom the right side. Okay, I'm only grabbing the bottom bands. So only the bottom. 
and I'm looming it forward. So I'm going to grab this bun. And going forward. Okay, and then I'm going to loom to this pin right here, just grabbing the bottom. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Then I'm going to go on this side, and once again, just the bottom bands. to here and just the bottom. Okay, so now here is my little shoulder area. I'm going to take this, let me see which one's the first, it's going to be this one. And I'm going to take this and bring it down, just like that. Then I'm going to take this one and bring it down. This is going to be the chest area. You can push the bands down. Okay, then I'm going to take this triple. So there's a lot of tension on this pin. Go all the way down, find that triple that's at the bottom. Bring it up and forward. So we brought the bands from here to here, here to here, and brought forward. Now we're going to leave this, remember this is the big stretch band, we're going to leave it here for now and work with it later. And we're going to work with the middle of the face first. Okay, so my band that I want to take right now is this one. It's the uppermost band. Okay, and bring a big stretch. Now my next one is this one. Big stretch, and now my black, and I want to put my snout in the middle of that black one. So we'll bring it out, just like that. So I brought the black over and brought this in the middle. Then we're going to loom this band right here. In between the eyes. Now we're going to stop right there, and we're going to loom this stretchy band right here. Oh, wait one more second. I'm going to first loom this one. Big stretch up. And then I'm going to loom this one. Now I'm going to grab this one. It's the it's not this bottom one right here. It's the one that's just above it. So I'm going all the way down, grab that, pull it through, just like that. Now this side too, same deal. We're going to grab this guy, and it's not the bottom. It's just laying right on top of the bottom. Okay, stretch it up. Now I'm going to grab this one on the bottom to finish the side of the head. And now I'm going to grab this one. It's right on the bottom. Bring it to that middle pin. Make sure that ear is straight. Now I'm going to grab this one on the side. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always rewind it. I'm going to relieve some tension there. Then I'm grabbing this one right here. Okay, 
and then we cannot leave out this one. We didn't grab this one yet, and I left that for last because it really makes the shape of the head come out really nice. So don't forget about this band right there. Okay, so this is your layout. So hopefully your dog looks like this. Make sure it does. Now we're gonna put a double band and make a slip knot. Just pull it through. Make sure it's in the middle. And then make a slip knot. Okay, and now slowly take it off the loom. Okay, so I'm going to take it off slowly, starting at the bottom. Take your time so none of the bands break. So now I have my thick bands right there. Bring it up. Now he's a big dog, so he need, we're going to maneuver his bands around when we take it off the loom to make him in the shape of a German Shepherd. Okay, now the nose. I got my nose right there. Pull it up. Now the sides. Now my middle. Okay, I don't need the loom anymore. I'm going to take my hook right out. Now he looks a little mumbo jumbo right now. We're going to take our finger, put it behind the head, pop his head out. Okay, bring out his eyes if they're not out. His snout. I think the three bands came out really nice. Four would be nice too. And bring the ears up, stretch out the body, bring the legs out, legs, okay, and now we're going to make his head look like this. We're going to turn this into this guy, and it's, I love this part, it really, you can see how just maneuvering the bands a little bit it really makes a big difference. So. We're going to first work on the neck, and I have my triple band right here. We have that little crisscross band right here. I have my triple right here. I'm just going to place my hook right through the side bands and that triple, so it looks like that, and I'm going to lightly tug and it's going to bring that neck up. Okay, just keeping that triple band moving. Okay, so now his neck is up, and now we're going to fold him like this, and we're going to make him into a German Shepherd. So I'm going to pull this up. We have that. We didn't put those extra structural bands over here because I want to actually place the head on top of that so it looks more like that. I'm just moving the bands around. So now what I want to do is sew the body shut. You're going to need a scissor at the end and one single uh, fur color. Now we have that neck triple band right here. I hope you can see everything good. The neck triple band with that little crisscross stitch. And then we have right on the side is this, these two stitches and these two stitches right above the legs. I'm going to place my hook right through that stitch and right through that stitch. Okay, then I'm going to place, I'm going to stretch this guy out a little bit place my hook, my band 
on the hook and bring it through. Then I'm going to connect it like that and make a slip knot. And that's your first stitch that you're sewing. Okay, so you got that. Fold that out. Now my next stitch is this leg stitch. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to place that band on the hook, bring it through, fold it. I have another stitch right underneath it. Right here. I'm just grabbing the brown. Bring it through. Here's my another, another stitch right underneath that one. Bring it through. Here is another stitch underneath that. It's a big dog. And bring it through. Now you can stop there and make your little knot or you can go further. I'm going to go a little further. If you don't think your bands are going to stretch that much, you can just stop there and make a knot. But I'll go another stitch down and then I'm going to hold this and I'm going to use my trusty scissors to cut the end. And I'm just going to knot it. You know, separate them. Just find any stitch on this belly. Place one underneath. Place that underneath it to anchor it. I'm going to pull that through so now it's anchored and I'm just going to take make a knot, a double knot or a triple. So here's one. Two, and just to be safe, I'll do triple. Okay, so now I can take the scissor again and cut the excess bands. Make sure you don't cut the dog. Or you can hide the excess bands inside the dog. Okay, you can place the head back up. Stretch them out, pull this out like this. Now the legs, I'm going to make some paws. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make the claws just separate. I'm going to move this out of the way. Separate these claws so they can show better. Just like that. And then on the bottom, just tug the bands a little bit and it'll move it flat, like that. So you're just tugging the bottom a little bit. So now I'm going to separate these and I'm tugging the bottom to make it a paw. Okay, I'm going to do the same with the back, make some claws. Just like that. And then I'm going to tug it and bring it forward to make that paw. Switch a ruse. Do this one. And then tug. Okay, stretch out that thigh so it comes down. Like that. And now the tail, I don't want him with the tail down. So I'm just going to lightly tug on the tail to bring it up a little bit. So I have that double right here from the tail, the capping band. I'm going to place my hook right through, tug on it, bring it forward. And now it's up. And you can also maneuver the bands so it curves also. And then if you see his head 
going forward, you can also put, you know, just maneuver it, go underneath that triple, bring it up, tug on it, and the, to hide this, I actually, and look at this, this one came out perfect. Remember I was talking about the, the black band on the side? This one, because it's a lighter dog, you can see it. The black band is really hidden in this one. So I didn't even have to maneuver the black band anywhere. But if you are showing a black band here, you just have to move the bands in the front of it. Just move it around. So, so I'm going to hide this and make this not a flat skull in the back and more rounded. So I have this band and this band. I'm going to place my hook right underneath it, just like that. And I'm going to basically sew the back of the head shut. We're doing some surgery. <laughs> so then you go underneath. And then we'll go another stitch down. Anywhere you want. Or the same stitch. I'm going to use the same. Now I'm going to go inside stitch a little bit. But any stitches that you like to hide that um, extra bands. Okay, so now it's more rounded. And you can just tuck in that extra band. Just hide them. And keep it like that. Now the ears keep the ears like that. Also, what I like to do is you have two bands on each side. Remember that? Now, I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Pull it down. And I'm going to leave two bands just to make a little pointy ear so it looks like this. I'm going to do the same thing on this side two bands on the top to point it out and you can bring this down to make it a little bit bigger. You can maneuver the bands so instead of the bands being this way it'll sit like that. Just move it around. Okay, and you have a cute German Shepherd. I think it came out wonderful. And the bands will stay. I just moved it just this way and the band stayed. Okay, he has a beautiful face. And he's wrapping it in the back. He has his paws. He has his snout. Tail up. And he does stand. So, I think this is a great dog. I hope you do too. Um, come visit me on Instagram or Facebook and show me your pictures. Okay? I love seeing them. Please subscribe. Bye. So, four stitches. Same doubles. Separate that out. Here's number two. Number three. And four. Okay, so I'm going to keep that on the hook. I'm going to take another double, and I'm going to place it on the loom. It could be any, any pins. So just place one there, and then another double. Connecting this pin to this pin. Okay, so it looks like a V. Then we're going to place this on this pin, and now we're going to loom these. So I'll pull this back. I'm going to take this band first. And then we're going to go to the right. So now I'm going to take it off the loom. I'm going to push these down too. I'm going to take it off the loom, keep it on the hook. And I'm going to place it on this pin and this pin. So we'll start from here. It's one, two, three, the fourth pin and the fifth pin from up here. 
take your time with this. It's the process that's the fun too and the outcome. Okay, so we got one leg there. We're gonna do repeat on this side. So black band. One, two, three, and four. Then I'm gonna do four stitches of double. One, two, three, and finally four. Okay, then we're going to take a double, go on the loom, place it here, and then another one here. Then we're going to place it on that pin. And I'm going to start on this and loom the left side first. Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. This time I'm going to show you how to make a German Shepherd on the rainbow loom. I have two different colors here. It's the same pattern. This one is with burgundy, rainbow loom burgundy, and this one is the tan and the camel pack. For a rainbow loom. I think they both came out super cute and I wanted to give a big thank you to my Instagram followers for helping me out picking out the colors and I also think another great color to use for this dog is in the camel pack there's a darker tan that's in the um, pack and this is the lighter shade and this is the darker. I think that would work really well and I also have the skin tone brown that's in there and it's a little bit lighter than the burgundy. In this tutorial I'm going to use the Skin Tone Pack Brown. I think that will come out cute but I really do also like this um, darker shade of tan. So we can get started. You're going to need black and they also come in white and all black dogs. So in this tutorial I'm going to make these two but with the Skin Tone brown and we're going to have a little bit black on the back, some black in a snout, and then of course the little claws and the tail. So let's get started. These will all be double bands. Okay, so two bands per stitch and I'm going to be using the uh, brown that's in the skin tone pack. You can use whatever color you want. If you want to make an all white one, that's beautiful, or all black, they'll all come out so nice. So we're going to do double. I'm going to place it from, and it's also a staggered position, arrow facing down. From this pin to this pin. Okay, then we're going to do another double. From this pin to this pin. And then we're going to make Another stitch in the middle. Pay close attention to where I'm placing the bands because there's going to be, um, if you made my husky, I made the neck similar to this one. So you also need like stretchy bands for this one so they don't break. So we're placing here to here and now here to here. And then we're going to place one right here. And now we're going to place a big stretch from this one to this one of my leg color. Place that on there, place it back on the hook. So that's one stitch and then I'm just going to repeat it to get five. So use number two. Number three, four, and five. Okay, we're going to place that actually right here. It's a little different than my other dogs. So we'll place it right here. Not here because this is usually where I place the leg, but this is a different 
um, style that I'm working with now for the pattern. So he looks really good with the leg right here on this pin. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Everything's in fives with this one, which is awesome. The fifth pin down. Okay, so we're not gonna make another leg, just repeating the, like, the first leg. So I need a black. One, two, three, four. And then we'll do our five stitches. Just like that. There's one. Two. Three, four, and finally number five. Okay, and that will go right here. Same. One, two, three, four, five. I think five is this dog's lucky number. Put that there. And now we're going to do the hind legs. Hind legs are a little thicker on the top, but we're still doing, we're going to do four stitches and then we're going to connect it to two bands. So we'll do that. I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to place this up here. I need another black. One, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to go two. three, and number four. I made one little mistake. I don't want four because I want him a little bit longer because he's a bigger breed. So I'm going to make him one more stitch of black. So sorry about that. So this is really five stitches. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to work on the side and we're Still at doubles, and we're going to start at this pin, and we're just working our way down. I think that the outcome of this dog is really cute, and I think that you'll really like him. He's in the basic shape of German Shepherd, and you can use different colors and make a couple different. Um, varieties of the German Shepherd. So going all the way down, here's one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do another connecting band right here. Okay, and now we're going to work on this side. From this pin to this pin, and still working our way down. bit longer. And then we're connecting this pin to this pin. Okay, now we can work on the legs. I'm just pushing some of these bands down. And the front leg is going to be, it's a bigger dog, so I'm going to bend the bottom like my other dogs to make a little claw. So it's going to be a black band for the claws, and then one, two, three, four, five stitches for the front legs. So we're going to do that on the hook. You need a black band. I'm going to put this to the side. Black band, put it on the hook, wrap it around four times. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to take a double. This is going to be the forehead. And then we're going to do another stretch on this side from here to here. I'm 
Okay, so now we're going to do another double, and this is where I'm talking about the big stretch. We're going to place one right here, and it's going to stretch all the way down to this pin. This is the neck area, so big stretch right there. We're not touching this, it's just going to be one band going like this. Well, a double band. Now we're going to place another double on the other side, so from this pin, big stretch to the top. Now we're going to do the snout of the dog, and I choose black. You can use whatever color you want. Um, I am also, this is going to be right here, so I'm going to make it the same, this band, the same color as my snout. So I'm going to use black for that. So I'm going to place that right there. And then we're going to make another big stretch of a double. And that's going to be from this pin to this pin. So it's going to look like a little diamond. Okay, and then we're going to do another stretch on the other side. Okay, so it's a big stretch here, 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 and here, and here. Okay, and that's all the, the head area. Now we're going to need a triple for the neck area, which is going to start on this pin. Okay, so here's the big stretch, and our triple is right here. Now we're going to go back to double and I'm going to place it from here to here. Okay, then we'll need another double and we'll place it from here to here. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the middle of the body and I'm going to use black. You can use whatever color you'd like, but I really like how the black turned out. So I'm going to use doubles for this and it's going to be four stitches long. So here's one. These are all doubles. Two, 